Hey. Hello. How you going? <laughs> it's alright. This will make me seem more real. For me, passion is uh, madness. Um, it's being... It's being overly invested, involuntarily overly invested in something that just makes you want to die. No, 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 that's too dramatic. <laughs> burst. Makes, passion makes you want to burst with madness. I am Liam, aka uh, Double Double, aka Sad Boy Sexy, uh, aka uh, number nine on your speed dial because I'm, I'm not that reliable not not recently anyway uh, aka young 100 meter dash aka Liam rhymes uh, but no one calls me those last four things just Liam uh, heavy was the beginning and by that I mean I guess it all really began with ring because she's just like had it since birth kind of thing uh, whereas I feel like I grew into it more, but I just happened to be there at a certain point in time where she realized that rapping Biggie to strangers at parties wasn't going to be enough to like fulfill that need for something else. And then we just formed Heavy. It was like very mishmash pieced together, like just a, l a little bit before uh, Chronophonium, which is one of our first shows. Um, we just threw a few rough tracks together on, on an Electribe. They were very uh, generous in giving us a spot there. Not that it's a hugely sought after festival, but in the sense that we never played before. Also, they're our friends, so that never hurts um, to blindly give us um, the opportunity to play. But then uh, people were pretty into it. I guess I just got jealous of Reem's formidable chops. And uh, I wanted to start rapping, slash not just like look like an idiot on stage dancing around while she did all the work. Um, and yeah, so I started rapping, which I guess down the line led to Double Double. In terms of me starting screen printing, I guess it's another jealousy thing. I think I just always wanna, I wanna be able to do everything myself. I wanna, I wanna be able to make the beats. I wanna be able to sing or rap or um, make my own merchandise and stuff, and I don't know how, I don't, I would, I, don't, I wouldn't know how to gauge the quality of it, but now I can do all that myself. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say there's much of a process behind how the funding came about for Christmas Day at the Buffet, uh, Christmas Day at the Breakfast Buffet. Yeah, I just have an extreme passion and love for buffets. Tim has, uh, just a, a well, basically, of, of hits that he naturally doesn't think are that good because Tim is Chapter Kelpie, by the way, um, because he is unbelievably modest or maybe just clueless about how good he is. Um, so I essentially just slapped my uh, buffet bars that I've stored for any day because you've always got to have bars about things you love on hand on top of his amazing beat. And we got funding, which is amazing because now we get to make a video about buffets, which, you know, that's that's a dream in, in my books. Uh, my mental health and physical health affect everything uh, from it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, my music too, but I injured my back quite a while ago. It doesn't sound too intense, it's just like a thoracic sprain. On top of already having poor mental health, I think, my brain put something in here to like escape it. I guess they, I guess they both piggyback off each other. My mind makes this set feel worse, and whenever this plays up, it, it spirals out of control. Whatever I've got going up here, whether it be panic attacks or anxiety or depression, and yeah, so they're 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 collabing, and I'm trying to collab with them to just make music <laughs> it's, it's quite awful and it, it, it does it does cripple me in a sense but I guess 
for that brief moment in time where I get to talk slash rap about it, I feel, I feel okay. My writing process involves uh, essentially scouring through a basement of drum sounds. Without a doubt, every time I'll hate it. I'll scream at it a bit. Yeah, and then I'll look through this folder with just all these food names, basically, that are... <laughs> that I've called all these untitled tracks, or well, they're titled, but the titles mean nothing to me now because it's all just obscure names. And anyway, that will go away for about a month. And then after a while, I'll forget about it. And then I'll look through this basically list of nonsense, click one, and I'll, I'll scavenge a little, a little loop or a little bit of it that I doesn't think sounds that terrible anymore. And then a track will form. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm very heavily influenced by the New Zealand art scene, obviously the music scene, primarily. Um, and saying that there's too many to name, I guess if there's one particular point in time where I was gonna take take a, a little list of bands that I was really inspired by, it was probably when I was in high school, slash leaving high school around 2007. There was just the most amazing bands out, like Kosh Got Honeys, who then went on to Brain Slaves, Space Creeps a little later on from that. But kind of the slightly older generation, they were all great musicians, but they were kind of trash as well. Uh, Tim, who's actually DJing for me at Leaf, and I are going to release a joint EP of sorts. Um, and on a personal note, I'm going to Ariana Grande in a couple weeks. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be wicked. I'm real happy for myself, you know. Um, it won't affect my music career, but personally, it will make me very happy. Uh, you can find me online as Double Double, DBL, DBL, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, all the, all the culprits. Spotify, Facebook, you name it. I, I actually know I don't have Twitter. You don't want to hear what I have to say. I don't want to ruin the frame of the shot that was set up. But now my leg's kind of numb. But I'm going to stride through. <laughs>